This poem is called Tucson. Tucson, home of the saguaro, we woke up to the smell of dirt that meant one more day. The smell of creosote after every rain was special because rain was special. It was never quite cold, and I bet half of us have never even seen snow. I know I haven't. We would cook our tamales for two minutes instead of three because we were the rebels, and plus, they're a little bit better cold. I liked coming home from a camping trip and it looking like my legs had been attacked by a cactus because they had. <laughs> I liked sitting in my grandparents' beat-up black truck listening to country songs that didn't even make any sense. I think this is the only place in the world where you can get, the get tortillas at Circle K. <laughs> and no, I never did get sick of the way that mesquite trees scratched my legs as I climbed them with my neighbors to play sniping games with our Nerf guns. What can I say? We were young, stupid kids, and I never have broken a bone. Just a few sprained wrists and ankles. People ask me what it's like when half of my friends grew up south of the border, and I say, we're all too zoning in my eyes. See, my family has quite a few sayings. I love you more than peanut butter pancakes. Or, I'll do as I damn well please. Or maybe for 50 cents or for free. But I think my favorite one is us Tucsonans, we didn't cross the border. The border crossed us. My mom has been saying that to me since I was little. My data, yes, I said data, <laughs> makes bad jokes that we dub data jokes. I grew up under the desert sky and I don't want that to change. My neighbors did cut down that mesquite tree. We don't play anymore. What if you could snap your fingers, turn back the clock, climb to the top of that mesquite tree one more time? Would you yell to your friends, target acquired? Or would you just stare at the sky, wishing that one day, like the rest of them, you could fly? Also, I'd like to shout out, my mom, my dad, and my grandma are here. Oh.